Yo, no intro, no ads, no sponsors, no bullshit. You saw the thumbnail, you know what's coming. You know the comparison I'm about to make. But this is much more than that. This is a statement video. A statement is being made on behalf of the entire PlayStation community. The PlayStation fan base, the current PS5 owners, the future PS5 owners. The ones who demand quality in the games that Sony peddles out to its customer base that have a quote unquote exclusive label. For all the talk in the news articles regarding the apparent decrease in Sony's stock, the lower than expected margins from their gaming division, and the idea that the industry should be transitioning away from consoles to PC gaming. Trust me, I hear and see all of it. Who's still playing video games on console in this day and age? Well, damn it, I do. A lot of us still do. Consoles are not an outdated form of gaming. And for those people in the world who primarily play video games on a PlayStation console, if Sony is going to tout a new title in front of us and plaster an exclusive label onto it, the game damn well better be good. Which brings me to what you really clicked on this video for. Because what other content creator slash gamer is going to bring up points that aren't discussed? This is what I do, people. Three years ago, we were introduced to an upcoming PlayStation 5 console exclusive known as Project Athia. Based off its reveal trailer, the game looked very promising and showed off the potential of this new Sony IP, an IP we've all come to know as Forspoken. The fuck does that mean? To attract and fascinate. What? Okay, here we go. To cast a spell over. Sure. <laughs> Don't act like y'all didn't Google that shit when you first heard it. On January 24th, 2023, Forspoken was released, and now let the memes begin. Yeah, okay, that is something I do now. I do magic, kill jacked up beast. I'll probably find us. So let me get this straight. I'm somewhere that's not what I would call Brooklyn. I'm seeing giant freaking turtles and oh yeah, I'm talking to a hat. Yeah, okay, that is something I do now. <laughs> Listen, I'm not gonna talk about whatever Eve controversy you might be thinking of. Whether it's her sexualization, her assumed childlike face on a grown woman's body, I don't even know where people are getting that from. Or Eve's unrealistic female body standards. Nah, that's just jealousy from some of these refrigerator built bitches typing shit online. It may come to you as a surprise, but I'm not even gonna mention the gameplay. And we all know gameplay is king, right? That may not mean much coming from me, but if Asmongold says it, most of these people would treat it as fucking gospel now, wouldn't they? Yeah, true. Everyone else talks about the gameplay. It will ultimately make or break a game, but I wanna focus on the character we play as in both of these games, Bray and Eve. They both can be badasses in their own right, but why is Eve better? Now, you can have a problem with what I'm about to say if you want. I'm a small channel anyway. I ain't gotta worry about getting canceled, so I don't give a fuck. For us guys, Eve gives us one of the three things we want in every woman, silence. <laughs> Dude, when you played the Stellar Blade demo and was going through the levels exploring, I mean like during the non-combat, non-story driven segments, Eve don't say shit. This, ch <laughs> this chick knows when to talk and when to shut the fuck up. <laughs> bro, bro, you don't get no attitude from her. You don't hear no back talking, no snarky ass comments. Is it because she's Asian? Makes you think. Why did the Japanese devs use the black girl stereotype for Frey? But the Korean devs made Eve into this girly, almost sensual-like character. Comparing just their personalities, guys would like to have Eve as a girlfriend. We don't even want to fucking hang out with Frey. I'm talking about the character Frey, not the actress Ella Belinska. I'll get with her in a heartbeat if I could. Um. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, as the player, 
we are given two female main protagonists in their own separate game. And it is extremely apparent that one is not like the other. And it is all due to the studio's understanding of what they think the market wants. Two video game studios obviously going in two completely different directions in terms of success. The developer for Stellar Blade, Shift Up, knows exactly who the fuck their audience is. It's like night and day with these two games. I spoke about this on my Why For Spoken Failed video I uploaded on my channel over a year ago. I said, For Spoken alienated half of its potential audience, which are males. For Spoken catered heavily to a demographic that is not the majority of who plays video games. Up to this point in 2024, yes, there has been a sizable increase in the amount of females playing video games, especially when it comes to content creation and whatever the fuck is going on with these hot tub Twitch streams. But the video game industry has always been a male dominated customer base. We all saw how unsuccessful Forspoken was. It had its audience, a minority audience, you would say. Sorry to break it to that audience but Forspoken was bad. That game came out January 2023, and four months later, what do you know? The developer, Ruminous Productions, went bye-bye. Prior to both games' releases, both studios provided PS5 players with a demo, whereas the Forspoken demo turned players off to that game, the Stellar Blade demo completely turned skepticism into fucking deluxe pre-orders. I got mine right now. Jesus Christ, the women, the women are praising Stellar Blade. Damn, damn girl. Wow, our first view of her. Whew. That was so fun. Yo, this is a day one. I love the way that our character moves. I love the, the, she just has this like flexibility to her that I love. I love it so much. <laughs> I didn't know that I needed a game like this in my life. <laughs> <laughs> All opinions from female content creators based off the demo alone. Understand this. If a developer can cater to the majority demographic that buys and plays video games, while also satisfying the minority. Well, that's a recipe for fucking success if you ask me. And I think it's way past time for Sony to treat every single PS5 title they even think about slapping an exclusive label onto it. That it is of the highest standard and rightfully on the level of next fucking gen gaming, which can be summed up with this acronym, HQET, high quality, every time i literally just made that shit up but if it's maybe that might help bring a boost to sony's gaming margin i'm going to end this video with this i'm going to end this video by quoting myself i made this statement a long time ago as a guy what does this game do for me when it comes to forspoken i still have no clue but when it comes to stellar blade well I think we all know the answer to that. Appreciate you for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, this is Lou from The Hue. Until next time.